Welcome guys to another Genshin Impact video, but first of all, I would like to shout out KOB1 and KOB2 on keeping up the grind on SAO Rise and Steel Guild Ranking event, and they've been going hard at it, and I'm sure that they will keep on setting the standard pretty high for the next War Guild, War of Underworld. I wish you the best of luck to anyone that's actually grinding at the moment. We're, I'm currently grinding, grinding as well, which is why I haven't been uploading a lot of content, as it it's kind of taken, taken over my life on my phone. Uh, it's just it's just something i don't really want to record in game but i've also been playing a lot of genshin impact which i'm currently ar rank adventure rank 22 and i've been having a lot of fun into the game and also seeing a lot of updates been seeing a lot of rumors going on on update 1.1 leaks apparently and not everything about it is confirmed and you should not like put your uh all your eggs in one biscuit and like wait for any of those updates if it comes around i'm surely there's a couple of updates that i'm in my in my thoughts are 100 percent confident that they will come into the game for example give me a second for example the addition of new maps obviously that would be an amazing thing since new maps unlocking meaning more story to come that would be amazing Obviously, the changes, the big changes is that one, more story, and the other one is about the gacha aspect of it. Surely, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be leaving, I'm gonna put out a counter argument saying, why would they change it if they're banking money at the moment? Plus, the current system does work as people are pulling into the banners and obviously if getting the characters they tactics. want. I would say if they do make the changes, that'll be really nice for the people that are more free to play as the uh, guaranteed pool is more achievable than putting money into the game and it could be accustomed to an, a much greater audience of people and incentivize people to actually put more into the game by lowering the amount of pools to reach the guarantee option. Another thing that I would like to also discuss is the gameplay features that are being added into the game. I do hope the verification system is implemented so whenever you're climbing up you're able to see your character um, from various angles, I'm not going to say which ones, but from various angles. And I'm also happy that they're improving the gameplay side of it as they will be able to make it more smoother in terms of graphic wise, uh, frames per second wise, and also uh, some climbing faults or bugs which will be fixed by 1.1 surely. But anyways guys, that's my opinion, thoughts on it. The biggest one is gacha based but i'm sure you guys will have your own opinions of it as well but anyways guys let me know your comments below what you think about this update and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one take care bye bye